Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. Um, today I thought I would do a nice little project, a nice little craft along with me, um, and it's using um, a nice envelope. Um, so you can use um, any of your junk mail, um, and these are the ones that I've coffee dyed, and the Chevy Shades of Pink embellishments um, from the kit that I've got. Um, so these are all the embellishments that I've cut out. So I've picked out a few. So we're going to use an envelope, I've got a little bit of seam binding, a little bit of lace and these are the embellishments that I'm going to use um, and one of the backing papers. So what it is, it's just a little um, pocket, we've got three little pockets in this. I haven't covered the back because what I thought you could do, um, you could either stick it onto one of your pages um, and then you could have another pocket if you just stuck around these, the three sides on here or if you made like a little um, flap here which is just a piece of card folded in half you can attach it to the back and stick it into one of your pages so you can have an extra and then I didn't cover the back because if you were going to do that you could stick that on and then cover it so you wouldn't see this bit um, so that's why I haven't covered the back so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet or you can just leave it as it is um, which is lovely so what I've done I've got a couple of the little tags here and all I've done I've backed them with a little bit of card um, just to make them a bit thicker I normally print on 120 gram paper um, and I've stuck it onto 160 um, this one is 120 so it's a little bit thinner on there so that's the butterfly um, with the bow on it um, so I've just doubled up these tags here um, inside the little pocket I've just used the paper that I covered it with one of the backing papers I just used the leftover bit here to make a little um, journaling um, trifold in there so that goes in that pocket um, and then the side pocket here I've got one of the little postcards that's in the kit so I've just backed that with some card pops a lovely little bit of seam binding on there and that just sits in there and then we have another little pocket on the side there so that just fits in lovely okay so I'm going to show you how to make that so that's quite easy peasy so what we do we start off with an envelope um, and if you didn't have an envelope you could probably use let's have a look a piece of um, coffee stain paper and then you could just fold it in half like that cut that piece down here um, so you've just got like an envelope and then you could just stick these two ends together um, and then you'd have the same shape obviously as an envelope so that's another way you can do it so what I'm going to do I'm actually going to just cut that piece off because we don't need that piece um, so I'm going to just use my Fiskars cutter here and just cut that bit off like that because we really don't need that piece we just need this piece here so that's done and what I'm going to do while I've still got the cutter I'm going to take this is one of the um, backing papers I'm just going to take that because I want to just measure it to um, stick on the on the envelope so let me just get a pencil there we go let's measure that like that and then just cut this piece off Oops, let's go this way there we go put that there so what we want to do let me pop those little bits off we want to measure this because we need to turn up a little pocket we need to turn this piece up here so I want to be able to fit this in there so I don't want to turn it up too far so I'm going to turn it up sort of there so we've got a little bit of room for it to go in and out and also this has got to be big enough for this to go in that pocket there so I think about there I would say so let's just mark that off like that okay so then what we want to do is just stick this onto the back I made that a little bit too big let me just cut it down a little bit I think well let's just okay I 
don't need to go all the way to the bottom, so I'm just going to fold it up like that and cut that off. So just a little bit of eyeball there. Then that just sits inside. You don't need to go all the way to the bottom because you don't see it. I've made that a little bit big, so I'm just going to take a tiny piece off that. just sits in there and then we've got this piece which we'll just cut down Oops. get my pencil just mark that off Oops. and I'm just going to cut that extra little bit off there which I made it too wide and that just sits on there lovely like that, perfect. So let's stick that down. So I'm just going to use my glue stick, but you can use whatever glue you like to use. So let's just stick this on first. I haven't sewn on any of this. Um, I know I did sew on it. I sewed a little bit on it, but the actual envelope bit, you, you um, I haven't sewn on it. So you can just stick it. It's nice and straight-ish. That's the nice thing about the glue stick, you can move it about a little bit. So which bit did I sew? I think I sewed this on here. Yes I did, I sewed that around there, but you don't have to. That's the only bit of sewing that I did. I'm going to stick this piece on here. Everything's sticky already, and that just sits on there like that. Easy peasy so far. So what I'm going to do, let's get these little bits and pieces out of the way. So this, then this will fit in that little pouch there, like that, perfect. And then this little one just fits in there like that right so let me just glue this bit that's the opening here so i'm just going to just glue that down here like that just so it's easier it doesn't open up then let's see if the top piece is all right i think so and that bit. let me just glue that down there Sometimes the glue on the envelopes isn't brilliant, is it? So let's just stick that in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just stick, what did I use? A little bit of this I stuck at the top. This is a lovely little piece of cottony lace here. I'm just going to pop that across the top. because it's so thin this one seems to ruckle up or it sort of like folds in on itself there we go now I'm just going to stick it down so there's a little bit of um, three in one. Should really use the Anita's one. But there we go. Make sure, oops, you daisy, make sure you don't stick that little pocket down. There, there we go. Okay, so that's the basic little pouch. Um, like that. 
these to the side. So now I'm going to just decorate this front bit. So what I've got, I've got one of the lovely little butterflies that's in the kit. Um, and then I put one of the little circle tags on there. I've just sat that down with a little bit. Of course, we have to use the um, cheesecloth. Shove a little random piece off. Runkle it up a little bit. Just stick that on there. Not with that, with my glue stick. So. I'm going to stick a little bit of this lace so it comes off the bottom. Should have done that first, really. A little bit of glue along there. So try and get all your little um, bits of lace um, and seam binding. I actually coloured this this morning because um, it was the white seam binding. Because um, I only buy the white and then I colour it myself. Um, I used the Tim Holtz um, Distress Inks. Um, to colour it so I've used that so try and get all your bits and pieces together first and and sort of like try and get the same sort of colour palette as you as you can um, so then you've got everything to hand and it makes it so much easier um, so you're not rooting around trying to find everything try and do a little bit of organising first not that I do that every time of course Let's stick that down. Stick the little bit of a butterfly down. Okay, these butterflies, I've made them so they actually sit on top of each other. So one is bigger than the other. So you can make them onto some thicker card. So they just sit on top. So I think they look really, really pretty. Um, I was going to actually cover them in a little bit of the sticky back plastic and make like a little mobile with them um, which I thought would look quite pretty so that's on there and then what I'm going to do I'm going to make a little bow just to sit in the middle of him tiny little seam binding bow I think it may look really pretty Just sits on there like that. It's cute, isn't it? A little bit of glue. You can just stick there like that. Okay, so now I'm going to get these little. These are the ones that I've actually backed. So um, with a little bit of thicker card. So. I'm going to actually pop them on top of each other. So what I'm going to do, I'll make sure that's the same. And then we'll pop a little hole in the top. Like that. And then I've got a little um, pin here, which I'll pop through there. So that sits on there. So there's easy peasy tags. And I think they look really nice when they're sort of like... We've got one on top of the other so that's nice now i've forgotten to put this on top so if i pop a little bit of that on top and that's what the tag hangs from let's cut that down and i'm actually going to pop that on there as well which i think are really nice glue this on Oops. Goes on there nicely, and then we'll put this um, for the little bit of lace at the top. sits 
somewhere like that. Now if you wanted to sew it, you can sew it, but I really don't think you need to. Um, I've got some nice strong glue that will stick down. Let's just do the edges here. Perfect. Now, these little, what did I do with them? I've lost my cards now. There they are. Hiding under the cheesecloth. So then this just sits in here, like that, in the little pocket. There. And then this just sits in this little pocket here. Oops. I can get it in. There we go. And then that's got the little seam binding that pops out the side, which I think looks really nice. I'm going to pop this little um, embellishment on there. So let's get another little bit of cheesecloth on here. Just to pop there. Now I've got some pink. Well, it's sort of an orangey pink, which I coloured as well a little while ago. I'm just going to use a little bit of that as well. this down just there oops it goes on there and then one of these lovely little roses just to pop on the side there okay so that's that bit done. What did I do with the lid? There we go. Okay, so that's it. It's nearly done. I'm going to pop these little tags on here. Like that. So that just hangs down. And now all we need to do is make the little um, trifold that goes in the middle. And then I'm going to pop this little heart on it. So what I want to do, I'm going to cut a piece of this. So it's going to have to go this way, I think. So if we do it, just eyeball it and just see. So that's about, what was that? Maybe three and three quarter inches. Fold it in a trifold like that. And it just sits in there. So that looks really nice, doesn't it? So what I did, I just actually popped the lace along the top. I thought looked quite pretty coming out the top. So this is the one that I, I sewed around but I'm just going to glue it and see how that goes. If it tends to come off I will um, go over it with a sewing machine. Sometimes with the lace you need to sew it because it, it doesn't stick. Sometimes it tends not to stick and it will come off. Okay, so that's that done. And then that just folds up. So what I'm going to do is, well, pop this little heart on there. Let's have a little bit of cheesecloth just to pop around the back. Of it, wrinkle it up, stick it on with some glue stick. Oops, lazy. A little bit too much glue. I can just wrinkle up like that. And 
just sit there, on there. So then we've got a nice little journaling card, a little trifold to go in the pouch, like that. And that just sits in here. So that's a nice little pouchy idea, nice little pocket idea just to go into your journal um, or just have as it is like that so, and then we've got the little pocket this side with a postcard in it a little pocket there with a little journaling card in it and then we've got the little trifold journaling and two little tags there so i thought that looks really pretty and don't forget if you want to put it in your journal um, you can just get a piece of card um, like that and make a little uh, just fold it in half and then stick it on and then you've got a little lip which you stick in and then it will just open up into your journal so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed that nice little quick um project so this was made from the shabby shades of pink collection so i'll pop a link down below um, and you don't have to have an envelope you can use it just with some paper so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed it you take care and i will speak to you soon bye bye mm -hmm.